Hello, this is Matthew Harms, and in this demonstration, I'm going to show you the Advanced Arena Connector to integrate your CAD data with Arena DLM. The benefits of the Advanced Arena Connector are the ability to combine and synchronize your Arena and ORCAD data. You can put data in ORCAD and have that pushed into Arena, and likewise have Arena data pushed through to ORCAD. The goal of this is for a zero touch bomb, a bomb that you don't have to edit or manipulate in any way that is just correct once you output it right out of capture. You also have that part data transfer directly into um, Arena from ORCAD. You have where use capabilities as well to see where a part has been used previously in builds materials that have been uploaded to Arena, allowing you to see everywhere a part exists. And you can use the Arena part number creation scheme so that your part numbers when they're made from ORCAD or made to ARENA standards so that when your new parts are made, uh, they're made correctly and numbered correctly. What I'm going to show you in the demonstration is how to convert temporary part from ORCAD into a formal part in ARENA. And we're going to take a look at the where used uh, capabilities so we can see how to query a part from within the ORCAD environment and take a look at it in ARENA. We'll also do a bomb import directly into ARENA from ORCAD and we can see how that all works. Let's hop over to the tool. Here in Apture, I have a part that I've recently requested from uh, DigiKey, I believe, and I'd like to take this part and put it into my ARENA system. The way that I do that from within CIP, where I am, is just hit Convert to ARENA, and that's gonna open up a new dialog allowing me to bring this part into my ARENA database. Here's the ARENA part numbering scheme. So you can choose how this part should get formatted. You can choose the formatting of it if you want it to be tied to a different type of part. So if you want it to be in the electrical table and in the with the commodity code for resistors, you can just drop that down and pick it or change to something else if you want. That's all chosen right from the ARENA database. You can, at this point, choose what your arena manufacturer is going to be. So you can match the CIP manufacturer with the manufacturer that you're going to have in your arena database. So you can match that up. And then you can choose, are you going to get this part directly from Panasonic, or would you like to get it indirectly from a different vendor? If you choose indirect, then this button will ungray, allowing you to choose something like DigiKey if you want to. So if we choose indirect, meaning we're not going to get this from Panasonic, we can drop this down and choose which distributor we'd like to get it from if we'd like to choose someone else. If you want it direct, you can just drop that down to direct and then that won't be a choice. Your source status when you bring this part across, approved, potential, are the choices that you have there. I'll select that to potential. And uh, another choice that you have is to upload the data sheet if you want to. What you can do is you can upload an actual file if you want to. So if you have a file, the data sheet sitting on your system and you want to upload that to Arena, you can just hit upload a file. Uh, choose the data sheet is what I want to upload and you can browse for a PDF file if you want to. The other option you have is to just take the link that's available in CIP, choose that, and it's going to bring up the link that was brought across from CIP already. You can update some other information in ARENA that you see right here listed as well. And once you're ready, hit convert to ARENA and that part should be made for you. There you see the new part in CIP and you can take this part and verify that it exists in ARENA before we go any further. So let's search that part in ARENA. And we can see that it does exist here. So here's the resistor part that was just made with different information on it. What you can do further is you can change information like this item name. If you want to, you can change that right here in the IP and edit this to something else. We'll just put some new information after here and save that off. And you can now bring that new information into Arena using this Arena part update. So using part update, you can bring that new information across update your description, and you should now see that information right here when I refresh. There you go, refresh, and you can see the new item name brought across from CIP. This shows you the nice interaction that we have between 
the two different tools, the CIP tool in ORCAD and your ARENA PLS. What we want to do next is we want to do a where used. So you can do where used from a number of different places. You can do it right from a part in your design if you want to. You can go to CIP, ARENA, where used, but probably the easiest way to do it is right on the part in CIP. You can drop this down and hit where used, and that's going to bring up the part information already in here. So this part that we just grabbed isn't used in any bill materials yet so far because we just made it. So let's grab a different part that does exist and we'll paste that in there. And this exists in a number of different bombs that I have already. You can filter this list now by revision. If you want to see only the effective parts, you can see the effective build materials that this is in right now, or you could put that back to all and you could filter by life cycle. So you could say only the ones that are in design are the ones I want to see, or just the unreleased ones are the ones I want to see, or you can go back, of course, to all. If you'd like, you can even export this to a CSV file, and uh, the name of the CSV, CSV file will reflect the part that you've chosen and the filter that you've chosen on there as well. So you can export that off to CSV to see that further if you would like. The final thing that we'll do is we will import a uh, bomb to arena so i'm just going to do that with a really simple one i'm going to place this part onto my schematic a couple times here nothing too fancy that's just the part that we made in arena and now if we want to import this bomb into arena we can go here arena import bomb we can choose the the bomb that we want so if you have a core or if you have multiple variants you could choose those multiple variants right now i just have a core design and we want to make this a uh, new part number. And I'll choose to upload this to the product assembly, call this test bomb. And this is the des design description. I'll import this across. And we should now see a new bomb that's been imported. If we have multiple variants, this is convenient. We can hit import next. We can choose a variant that we want to for this design if we want an alternate available for this. And once we're finished, hit done. We can verify that bill materials is available in the system for us. We'll simply go off to arena, paste the bomb number that we just created in there, and we should be able to see our bill materials with those four parts come up. So there's our product assembly, and here's our part, and I guess we have three of those, so R1, R2, and R3. So that's everything that we can do with the Arena Connector. You can, you can uh, create temporary parts in ORCAD and bring them to a formal part in Arena using the part numbering there. You can do where use to see where that part exists previously. And you can do a bomb import to directly import your bill materials right into Arena. Thank you for watching.